Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I'm showing you guys my entire collection of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom action figures from Mattel. This is an update video because you know previously we didn't have the Super Colossal T-Rex, the Velociraptor mask and the Indoraptor mask. So let's begin with um the Indoraptor mask. Yep, so this is a pretty cool um, gear for you to wear it during like Halloween will go well with the indoor raptor costume next we have um, the blue mask which is really cool that I can actually move and it will produce like you know screeching noises or rather roars all right pretty cool um just gonna be placing this behind the camera yeah, let's move on to the next figure which is the Spinosaurus Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus This is pretty awesome You can move the legs, the arms and the tail And here is the code for you guys to actually scan um, to review the facts in the Jurassic World Facts app Okay, oops, there is a gap right here uh, but that's fine and here's the action attack um, kind of Taurus, which is really nice. This is definitely in my top three most favorite uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom action figures. Definitely among the top three. All right, next we have um, the Ceratosaurus, which is also one of my favorites. Oh my goodness, how many favorites do you have? Um, Dan, uh, if you ask me, I'm not really sure because I like so many of them. But my least favorite will have to be um, the Matriocanthosaurus. Yeah, I'll tell you why later on. And here's the Allosaurus, Rorival. Can move the arms, can move the legs. Just like all the Rorivores, you are able to scan this right below. So basically, every action figure comes with a code for you to scan to review some facts in the Jurassic World Facts app. Okay, this is a relatively new action figure, which is um, the Lava Search Playset Baryonyx, which is really, really cool. Comes with this button as well, but it doesn't produce any sounds can move the arms and the legs as well okay pretty cool love this paint job right on top of his head but definitely prefer um, the original Rory Vaughan okay next we have the Pteranodon Rory Vaughan which is from Wave 3 this is pretty cool as well you can actually move our, um, the mouth yeah and the wings can actually be kept. So if you want to keep this, keep this, you can just you know bend the wings inwards. Awesome stuff. Placing this behind me. Okay, Indoraptor. I'll be getting more Indoraptor figures for sure, because I want to expand my indoor raptor collection this is the grab and growl indoor raptor there are two buttons one below to activate the jaw and one on top to activate the arm yeah awesome stuff okay one minute figure this is um from the legacy collection young t-rex paying tribute to the um, Jurassic Park figures from um, Kenner, I think. Suko Mimers, action attack, really beautiful. This is pretty rare. You can't find this in many countries. I've actually purchased this from eBay. Yeah, it's just pretty awesome. Suko Mimers. Um, Protoceratops. Attack pack, pretty rare as well. Because many countries they didn't import 
all the latest waves. Battle damage, Sticky Moloch, um, not that rare. Many countries have this. I got this from my local Toys R Us. Yep. In my country, Singapore, Toys R Us is still around. Okay, this I got it from a toy store as well, an official Mattel figure too. Um, a 6 inch figure. So this is actually... Um, is this considered 6 inch or 15 inch? I can't really tell. I'm not too sure what the card is, but this is pretty well made, but too bad that isn't any articulation on the jaw. So that is a pretty huge um, waste, I would say. Okay, next up, okay, let me just bring this closer. This is the Triceratops Rory Ball, one of the first few to be released um, to the public. Not rare, but very nicely sculpted, beautiful sculpt. One of the best Triceratops figures from um, the Jurassic Park series. Ankylosaurus, okay, this is from Wave 2, if I remembered correctly. I got this from Mattel. Mattel actually sent me this and I was pretty, pretty um, lucky to have them. Like, I think I was the first to review this Ankylosaurus on my um, channel, I think. I'm not too sure. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but the Pecky Rhinosaurus is definitely, was definitely the first one to review it on the internet. Yes, I'm pretty sure First Mattel sent me this um, th this The first figure ever Yeah I was pretty honored to receive it from Mattel Pecky Rhinosaurus, the thick nose lizard Beautiful figure Really fantastic The more I look, look at this, the more I like it Fantastic figure um, let's take a look at some attack pack um, dinosaurs. Of course, this is not a dinosaur. We have um, the Dimorphodon. This is actually from um, the second series. A repainted version as compared to the original one. Okay, check this out. This is the grey version. Which one do you guys prefer? I prefer the grey one, to be honest. This came together with a Jeep Wrangler. In a playset. Um, this is the Monolophosaurus Battle Damage figure. It came together with the Battle Damage T Rex. I'm sort of regretting getting, I mean, I'm sort of regretting not getting the Extreme Chomping T Rex, which looks um, the same as the Battle Damage T Rex, just without. Um, these battle scars okay comes with this button right here but mine is always stuck I have no idea why am I pressing it the wrong way yeah but my mine always stuck this button doesn't work for my for my figure it's so hard to press it in yeah there you go. Very nicely sculpted um, Rexy. Beautiful sculpt. The paint work is amazing as well. Of course, I've seen many people repainted this figure and it looks fantastic. Um, Horarosaurus, a repainted version. Next. Thrashed and Thrall T-Rex, definitely one of my most favorite figures from this video. What an awesome figure. The only regret is that I didn't get another one, because I really really want to play with this, but I'm kind of um... I'm kind of um, not playing with it because I don't really want to damage the tail and the mechanism inside this figure and here is my least favorite um, action figure okay no offense to this figure it is fantastic but definitely my least favorite among 
all these fantastic figures. This is the Metria Cantosaurus. What I don't like about this figure is this jaw. It is opening too wide, in my opinion, and it just looks longer than the upper jaw. And it can't stand very well too. But, you know, it's still a fantastic figure, no doubt. You know, the figures from Mattel are just simply amazing. Baryonyx, beautiful, beautiful figure. I love this shiny paint right over here. It is shiny, it looks like, you know, an aquatic animal, which is really, really fantastic. The Raws are really awesome too. I love it. Um, next up, we have the Legacy Collection Pteranodon. I think this is from the Legacy Collection. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Attack Pack Dilophosaurus with this beautiful frill. I think this is printed on. So you guys can see the lines across the frill. Um, Attack Pack Sticky Moloch, which is really, really cool. Not too sure. Wait a minute, that's not the Attack Pack. Uh, y yes, I think so. This is um, the Attack Pack Blue. You can't move the head, but you can move the arms. The arms are actually super soft and flexible, which is really interesting. Gallimimers which looks super weird with those arms. Action Attack Stegosaurus, beautiful, beautiful figure, no doubt about this. Nicely sculpted, not too sure about the paint work. Definitely prefer something um, more vibrant. But the repainted version looks pretty horrible, in my opinion. I mean, you guys may think differently. Indoraptor, super posable Indoraptor, what a fantastic figure. This could be the number one figure. Yeah, super awesome. Um, next up, let's bring this closer and over here so that we can reach out to this um, Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, check this out. This is a Legacy Collection Pachycephalosaurus, which is very similar to the Battle Damage Pachycephalosaurus. Check this out. The sculpt is exactly the same, just with a um, different functionality. It comes with this Dino Damage. Um, battle Damage Blue. Okay. Awesome. You can actually move the head and the jaw. So this is definitely the battle, the battle um, blue figure. This is not too sure what to call this. Is this from the Action Attack series? It could be in um, Nimi, one of the newer Wave Three attack pack. And this is a Proceratosaurus, yeah. Green Velociraptor. Is this like Charlie? Um, I don't think so, right? And this is the Hararosaurus. I hope I remember the name correctly. Okay, I have to actually cross over to the left side so just give me one second. Okay, let's continue. Oh man, this it's the orange Velociraptor with the spring, springing action. Attack pack Velociraptor, a repainted version. This it's. Is this considered orange? I think so. Rip and run diners with blue and um, orange together. So basically you can attach a rod or rather a plastic string, insert it into this little hole, pull it and um, 
Blue and old one would just run. Battle damage, Triceratops. And here is our super. What's going on? Super Colossal T-Rex, which is able to feed, able to eat many different mini dinos. Can just dump them into um, her mouth. And um, just out comes from this belly right here. Very cool figure, definitely a must for all T-Rex fans. What a beautiful figure. I have no place to place this, otherwise I will just display it. I've kept this in a in my wardrobe to be honest. And here's a real few Mosasaurus. What an amazing figure. Amazing, amazing figure. If you ask me to choose my top five, you know, best figures from Jurassic World, you know, Mattel. Super Colossal T-Rex. Real few Mosasaurus. Real few Mosasaurus. Um probably. Kikonotaurus is definitely one of them. Grab and Growl, Indoraptor. And what's the fifth one? Thresh and Throw T Rex, probably. Yeah. So, yeah, this could be my top five, you know, best figures from Jurassic World Mattel toy line. Yeah, so, oh my goodness, this video is like 16 minutes long. Alright, hope that you guys enjoyed this, vi this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. Um, if, and if you're new here, I am Dan. I upload dinosaur videos every single day, so make sure you subscribe to like Dinosaurs and Jurassic World. I'll probably do another video, video like this um, once the new, new wave comes out in 2019. I can't wait for them to release the new species. Um, I think there is like concave venator. I think there is like brachiosaurus. I'm super, super excited. I can't wait for them. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. By the time you're watching this video, I'll probably be in New Zealand. Yeah, so because this video is actually pre-recorded in advance. See you guys tomorrow. Remember to check back. Love you guys. Goodbye.